Hey everyone, I'm gonna take you inside Toronto's biggest liquor store. This is their flagship, the Summerhill LCBO. Alright, took the long way around to get to the premium spirit section, but starting off right here um, with some bourbon. I'll just get you some notice some prices on here. So double oak, sixty-nine ninety-five. Uh the rise fifty bucks, the Woodford's twenty-six, a half bottle. Oh look, Larceny. Two bucks off. The <laughs> annual sale of save four point three percent on your product. You're gonna hear me uh bitch about some LCBO stuff a lot. Here's some Elijah Craig. For reference, 50 bucks for the uh, regular old Elijah Craig. Um, yeah, LCBOs has some very expensive prices. Uh, they're controlled by the government, so that's what it is. Oh, look, Four Roses, 52.95. That's okay. I'd pay that. Some good stuff. Uh, let's take a look over here at their cabinet. Let's see what's behind the glass. Anything uh, catches my eye. Oh, here's a bourbon for you bourbon junkies. Some barrel finished and the price, <laughs> secondary market pricing. Thanks LCBO, really like that. Uh, over here, not uh, too much, uh, too much stuff. Here's a last drop blended whiskey. I kind of like these. They have the little sample that you can, uh, you know, to open up your big bottle. Uh, whoa, fifty four hundred. That's about two thousand more than you'd pay somewhere else. Mac twenty five. Yeah, I don't know. Don't really care too much about it. Twenty six hundred dollars. Ugh. Um, McCallan eighteen. All right. Well, what do we got here? These went up in price big time. Oh yeah, three twenty five. No one's paying that. That's way overpriced. Oh, here's something new. Peerless. This is a three year old straight rye. One ninety five. Uh, I think that's more than you'd pay somewhere else. Not too bad though. Oh, here you guys go. Some um, Blanton's original. Good price on this one too, 65 bucks. Uh, I know other places you're looking at a lot more than that. I've seen it $200 USD in the states. <whistles> Insane. Uh, looking around, there's actually like there's not too much interesting stuff here, guys. Like there's not a single bottle of Ardbeg anywhere. I was looking at Ardbeg because the prices here are just stupid. I want to have a good laugh at the Ardbeg prices, but there wasn't a single bottle of Ardbeg. Here's some Talisker, uh, $69. Um, Balvini is always super expensive here, 150 bucks. But yeah, not really too much going on as far as uh, stuff that's popping out at me. Um, Glendronic 12, I guess, is decent. How much do they want for this? 79.95 for that. Meh, decent price, I suppose. But yeah, really not too much going on here today, guys. Usually I have a lot better selection than uh, than what I'm looking at. Here's some crap for you. I remember this stuff first came out in the secondary market, and people were paying a premium on 37 for it here. Honey and toasted oak. Smooth notes, yeah, right. Oh, look, you can get a little uh, shot glass if you buy it. One for all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep moving around. Here's a bourbon that I uh, I haven't seen before. Heaven's Door Tennessee bourbon for seventy five bucks. I'm not sure about that. Have to check out a review or two on that one. Uh, keep moving around. Uh, here's some great bourbons. Um, sure, Long Branch. Well, Turkey One Hundred One's like forty bucks. Oh, here's a uh, rare breed. It's good. Sixty five. Yeah, I'd pay that. It's not bad. Not too bad. Back to the shelves, behind some glass, some compass box, flaming heart, they want 250. Yeah, that's a little much. Here's an or a uh, Brook Lottie Black Art 6.1 for 360. A little expensive. Bovini Ton 59, Bovini super expensive, $900 for batch five. Blech. Here's a Belvini I haven't seen before. Day of the Dark Barley, 1700. That will sit there for a while. How about a 26 year old Bowmore? 750. Yikes. I'm going to go up one more year. Price on this. So, what does that say? 800. Wow. Hey, Johnny Walker. There's about a $120 more than you should ever spend on a blue label. How about some rum? 
El Dorado 25. That's a great bottle. Oh, it went up about a hundred bucks where it used to be not too long ago. Appleton 30. What do they want for that? 600. Appleton's got like a little thing on today. I might stop by that later. In the store, they have like a promotion thing going on here in the store. One good thing about this LCBO, it's so big. There's a curtain Sweeney for 90. That was about 50 bucks more than you should pay. Uh, Canadian whiskey. Lot 40. Original lot 40. Mm, 40 bucks. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. There's not too much good Canadian whiskey here. Um, oh, here's one. Still on the shelf. Weiser's 23 cast strength. 150. It's expensive, but uh, I would, I'd pay it. Oh, Masterson's 10 year old rye. Haven't seen that in a while. Whew. 120. Oh, look, liquidation sale. <laughs> $12 off. Yeah, you need to price those a little bit better if you wanted those things to be liquidated. Yuck. There's some super expensive cognac. I remember this bottle used to be a duty free for 2000 Now it's 4200 Yikes. Here's some stuff I hadn't seen before. Um, I think it's like a Hardy. Huh! <laughs> 18.5. Yikes. Here's another Hardy. This one is uh, uh, 14690 Yikes. Let's get on some beer. Uh, one good thing about this LCBO, like I said before, it's really big. They have huge... Uh, Lots of different things going on. This is the beer area, so the tasting bar. Uh, you can sample some beer. Oh, fuck, it's closed. Um, craft beer is like kind of boomed in Toronto. Um, this is all their craft beer section. Lots of awesome stuff. Usually you can find pretty much uh, a lot of things that you like that you, um, local distillery or local breweries, etc. You know, there's some uninteresting tequila. Uh, I'm going to get more into tequila this summer. I'm going to do some reviews of some tequilas coming out, some mezcals. I um, really do like a lot of stuff I've been trying recently. For price reference, here is uh, Patron uh, 101.95. Hey look, more blends. When we get blends, we get it in waves, so it comes in a lot. Anyway, um, yeah, ask an expert. I need to get a drink. Where do I go for that? Tasting bar. This is why I come to Summer Hill, because of the tasting area. Always have some good stuff uh, available to be tasted for uh, very reasonable prices. So, lots of wine and stuff like that, but the spirits are on this side. Um, not too much that I'm looking at that I kind of want to try. Um, I think I'll give that Peerless a go. Um, a three-year-old. So yeah, you get uh, two quarter ounce pours of whatever you want, so two choices for spirits. Um, I thought this was pretty decent, I don't know, didn't like it too much. Not for the price, anyway. And I tried this. Uh, I thought this was pretty good, but again, it's way too overpriced for what you get. Anyway, that um, Appleton's having like a big thing that kind of did up this room. It looks freaking super cool. So uh, they're doing up cocktails in here. Got an old fashioned and a Moscow Mule. They were both really good. There's <laughs> there's my old fashioned. Look how small it is. Isn't that the cutest little old fashioned you've ever seen? Hilarious. Uh, that guy was really nice. Gave me some swag as well. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Little sip. It was alright. Uh, Appleton State 50. They want $5,000 for this bottle. Crazy. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, so yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, Summer Hill LCBO is huge. If you're into wine and stuff, it's really good. Um, and yeah, the tasting room is awesome. But yeah, prices are out there. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs>